Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you already sent me your study area, mainly your boundary shape file, which boundary you want to need. Okay. Yes, yes. And I already developed the code for that your water quality monitoring. So mainly total suspended solid, turbidity, and chlorophyll. Uh, how we can easily use yes, yes. the satellite image and get this type of information from here. Okay. Yes, so yes. okay. So basically, uh, I in this time I will show you all of those things one by one for my file which mm -hmm. I completed, and then mm -hmm. try to implement such as when you want to work for that suppose uh, accuracy assessment. Then you also need to know about that ground truth data. Okay. Yes. So yes, for yes. that you already created the ground truth data also. Uh, for mm. that. So in this time we are just mm. uh, calculated the um, uh, root mean squared error RMSC. Mm -hmm. This we can calculate yes. it and find out the accuracy about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and you, and yeah. Before, before we proceed, this, I wanted to know how you do treat the the ground truth data because. Uh, it is from five, five uh, sampling uh, points, points, and it is also from five, uh, three different scenes. So I wanted to know like how you are going to treat. Are you going to like to make a mean of the of the of the, the sampling stations as well as the mean of the of the uh, of the scenes? Okay, okay. So in this time, uh, suppose in this time when you want to work for the root mean squared error we have to read the two value one is that actual value another is the predicted value okay so actual value mainly we can get the actual value from the ground mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and predicted mm -hmm. value in this time we put input as a satellite imagery which i can get from the satellite images for them and yes, then yes, from yes. that we can just simply uh, apply the rmsc then calculate mm -hmm. the accuracy about that so in this time you have mm -hmm. the uh, geo location data for the specific point is it yes, 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 yes. okay yes. then we can easily suppose in this time we are also just check about the same geo location on my satellite images mm -hmm. what is the condition yes. about the total suspended solid or chlorophyll or turbidity then we are just get the two value one is the actual value which i can get from the ground and another is the predicted mm -hmm. value which i can get from the satellite images for the pss yes, total yes. Suspended solid turbidity then we can easily make the yes. rmsc there is no problem okay. okay 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 so let me share my screen then i will show you that mm, okay and it also better suppose you want to take the suppose ground truth data at specific specific time so in this time mm -hmm. we are also input the same images for the same time period then we can get the better mm -hmm. accuracy suppose you want to take the ground truth data for the 15 january so in this time we also put at the 15 January satellite image also, and then we okay. can easily get the better accuracy about that. Okay. Well, I thought, okay. So okay. let's go. Okay. So now can you see my screen? Um, yes, 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 yes. So this is our area of interest. Mm, yeah. So I already imported, and then calculated three parameter. One is the mm -hmm. chlorophyll, total suspended solid, mm -hmm. turbidity. Yeah. yeah okay yes, yes, yes and we are use this satellite images so mainly this is the sentinel 2 satellite imagery okay okay Not at this. so this is the ndci okay first you show the satellite image so in this time it look like that simply i set the band combination such as um suppose red green and blue band rgb color 98 mm percent -hmm. is increase so now we can get this my study area cinema okay. 2 satellite imagery okay so this is my cinema 2 satellite imagery so in this time i just simply mm -hmm. add the other layer suppose you can see this is the ndti mainly turbidity mm -hmm. index mm -hmm. we can calculate the turbidity study area as well as also we can see the result for the total suspended solid mm -hmm. the total suspended solid mm -hmm. and finally ndci it is the chlorophyll about that yes, okay. yes. not only for that suppose in this time you already have the geolocation data 
So how we can mm -hmm. easily get the value? Suppose in this time you can check in a, 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 a period tab. Suppose uh, I just simply okay, just simply click on here. Simply click on here. So now mm -hmm. I can get a specific coordinate for this coordinate. What is the yeah, value yeah, yeah. about that? All of those things I can get from here. You can see, see. NDTI TSS. Um, yeah. So here you can see NDTI TSS value and chlorophyll index value. Okay. So in this time, we can suppose uh, you, we are just use the same geolocation uh, which you want to use for your collecting the ground crude sample and make the uh, chlorophyll or turbidity or total sustenance solid. Just you are the same geolocation data. So basically, it's just a predicted. Okay, and actual value we can collect from the ground. So then we can yes, simply yes. compare and calculate the root mean square error and then calculate the accuracy mm -hmm. from here. What the accuracy mm -hmm. can get from here. Okay, so it's another uh, process so for that. So basically this is the result now for your from your uh, from for your region of interest. What is the condition about mm -hmm. that NDCI total suspended solid and turbidity? Okay, yeah, yeah. so now from here mm -hmm. we can easily extract the uh, your ge geolocation. Suppose in this time uh you can it's also better if you want to send me excel file or csv file suppose in the excel file or csv file if you include all of those latitude and longitude and also add the value. suppose tss value um also uh turbidity value or ndci value you can simply add one by one as a column okay it's latitude okay. longitude and column then we are also easily imported the csv file in google earth engine platform here you can see um from asset tab we can simply import it to the also geolocation csv file okay so then mm -hmm. we are just use the same training point as a and also extract the predicted value from this uh, uh turbidity chlorophyll or total suspension solid save for the same location okay so mm -hmm. it's a predicted value and we have already the ground root value then we can easily yes, make yeah. the root mean square error and then find out the accuracy about that not only for that yeah. in this code i also add here the another thing is that uh, for the times reach chart so basically mm -hmm. from this times reach chart we are also get uh suppose click on here so in this time okay so it's a breaking lines chart in this time it show that so in this time this breaking line means that in this time there is the no turbidity uh about for this mm -hmm. time so this is so mm -hmm. it shows like this type of breaking line you can see it this time also we can get the chart in here okay 8 mm -hmm. may 7 june okay so in this time we are also use this type of geolocation and we are also download the data is a excel file and basically we can uh, get the time period or uh, suppose sentinel 2 uh, suppose it will be available from uh, 2015 yeah 2015 to present time we can easily get for uh, this location we can easily get this any types of total suspension solid chlorophyll or target we can easily extract the information from here and then also okay. visit using our ground root data so in this time you also try to make uh, the csv file in this csv mm -hmm. file you just added the latitude longitude and also add the value your ground crude value okay yes, yes, yes. Uh, then we can easily import this. The, the, yeah. the ground truth value for each of the of those, of those parameters, parameters right? right yeah okay total suspension solid tarvidi and color it's simply add that and then we also mm -hmm. import this file in uh, google earth engine platform and extract the mm -hmm. information extract the information from the satellite mm -hmm. images okay, okay then okay. check about the root mean square because uh, i already uh, added uh, those uh, them uh, like the the second uh, the second link that i sent you in, in the email it included the it included the uh, the this one the 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 location as well as the values for each uh, for oh, each, parameter, each parameter and, and also, also the the dates for the co located, co -located uh, uh, images, images. Oh, okay okay so can you resend me again i then i can easily find out that link also